Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Vital Induction. Today I am going to show you how I give ultrasound guided interscaling block in a patient coming for shoulder arthroscopy for rotator cuff tear. So let's get started. In my previous video on ultrasound guided interscaling block, I have already discussed the uh, position of the patient and the ultrasound machine, the equipment and material required, the direction of the linear probe and the needle. So in this video, we won't be discussing the previous things. So here I will show you the structure pierced by the needle to enter the interscaling space to reach the roots of a brachial plexus, how the injection is delivered around the brachial plexus in the interscaling area. Okay, so quickly, uh, let me tell you about the anatomy by pausing the video. So here you can see the anterior scalene muscle, middle scalene muscle, muscle, and in between those muscles you will find the interscalene area where the brachial plexus is lying. On top of it you will see the C5 and C6 root, below that C7 root. These three C5, C6, C7 is nicely displayed in this ultrasound image. Let me show you the structures pierced by the needle while entering into the interscaling space. These are skin, subcutaneous tissue, channocleidomastoid muscle, then middle scaling muscle and the brachial plexus. Now I am injecting drug around the brachial plexus, around the roots of the brachial plexus. So after the procedure was over, the patient had excellent surgical anesthesia and the surgery went uneventful. If you find this video helpful to you, then please press the like button. For more such contents, please subscribe my channel. See you in my next video. Till then, 